Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to this session. Um, in this session, uh, we are going to discuss the liability uh, part of our first balance sheet and subsequently we are going to see how changes in first balance sheet. Uh, that means when central bank change components in their uh, assets and liabilities and how does it going to affect the money supply. Coming to the liabilities part, first liabilities are mainly two components are there uh, the two aspect components of uh, the liabilities of the Fed are one is currency in circulation and second one is reserves. This is also called as monetary base and also called as high powered money and the definition that we have given earlier was uh, the by defining it as M note money. So that means the monetary liabilities are uh, is equal to currency in circulation and reserves. So let us discuss this one by one. Currency in circulation means the amount of currency in the hands of the public. That is the amount of currency in the hands of the public that is called uh, currency in circulation. So please note that uh, currency held by depository institution is also a liability of the Fed but uh, it is counted as part of the reserve uh, not part of the uh, currency in circulation. Right. So that means the currency held by the banking system uh, is not included in currency in circulation uh, but it is a liability we are going to include it in uh, reserves. And coming to the second component that is reserves, uh, reserves means currency held by depository institutions at hand and held in Fed's account as reserves. So it is a liability of the Fed but is counted as part of our reserves. So to summarize this one, uh, in the Fed's balance sheet, what we can see here is that the liabilities are one is currency in circulation, then second one is reserves. That means uh, currency held by depository institutions uh, and uh, as well as at hand as well as held in Fed's account. Both are considered as uh, reserve. Total reserves we can divide it into two categories. Total reserve, total reserve we can make it to two category. Uh, one is called uh, required reserve and the second one is called uh, excess uh, reserve. So coming to the required reserve, uh, required reserve means of the total demand deposits and uh, time deposit that means the total demand and time liabilities because the deposits are anyway liabilities for the banking system. Uh, so the a fraction, a fraction of the total uh, demand and time deposit has to be kept with the central banking system, central bank as required reserve. Uh, this is mandatory. For example, in India, you know that is approximately 4 percentage uh, because it is change often when central bank announce monetary policy. So that means the here the required reserve means a certain fraction of, of the total deposit, total fraction of the total deposit. Uh, kept with the central banking system right that is the required reserve and in addition to that banking system also keep additional money uh, money in their uh, reserve bank account that means any additional reserve the bank choose to hold uh, be it with the fed account or be it with the uh, at their own uh, vault that means vault cash this is called uh, excess reserve so Totally, we are going to make the total reserve is equal to required reserve and excess reserve. Both are considered as uh, reserve in our definition. So, look at this figure. What we can see here is that uh, in the here, the bottom part, uh, you can see that at any given period of time, this part, this much uh, is the currency in circulation, currency in circulation, and the remaining this one is the this much uh, is uh, the reserves. That means reserve means. Uh, including uh, required reserve and excess reserve and this both uh, we are going to say that the high powered money. 
so the high powered money that means currency and circulate currency in circulation and reserve that the required reserve and excess reserve and this is going we are going to call it as the monetary base uh, monetary base and also going to call it as the high powered money right this is the high powered money so what we are going to see that based on this when we include the money supply money supply definition we have given that currency in circulation plus deposits including all deposit that including uh, demand deposit and time deposits uh, that is money supply so this is the money supply is here that means currency in circulation that actually same the amount is same but uh, the deposit uh, we can see that it consists of a larger components so based on this monetary base actually we are, we are going to say that a central bank can control the monet monetary base in fact so the fed's control over the monetary base is the main route through which it determine the money supply that means this part so you can see that this is the smaller component uh, this is the based on this the fed is able to may increase the money supply to this much so th this is the main route so what we are going to focus here is that mainly on the monetary base when we discuss uh, the function or my function of my central bank or the process through which they increase the money supply so it's mainly through the uh, monetary base that is the main route through which it determines the money supply so later on we are going to see that using this much monetary base this mb uh, they are able to the central bank and again not only the central bank the um, uh, stakeholders that we just mentioned in the previous session that is the um, uh, banking system uh, depositors and borrowers they were able to uh, increase the monetary base to this much that the, the, the this is a larger component that the money stock uh, they were able to attain it that process we will decline in uh, sorry we will discuss uh, in one of the uh, forthcoming session so let us now focus on this monetary base this part and also before moving further let me also show you uh, the money supply uh, in india what are the components included there so we can say that uh, currency with the public uh, is actually in that 14.7 percentage this one in uh, march uh, 2022 March 2022 so you can see that this is the currency with the public that is in the money supply we can see that uh, the C component uh, consists of approximately 15 percentage so the remaining uh, 85 percentage that means uh, demand deposits with the bank that uh, consists uh, 8.1 percentage time deposit that also part of money supply definition uh, that is consist of approximately 75 percentage and the 0 0.2 percentage this is called other deposits by uh, with the rbi it is mainly done by prime minister ex prime minister governors uh, etc and also the government as well with the central bank this is called uh, other deposit with the rbi so you can see from here itself currency actually constitute only 15 percentage of the total money supply all the remaining part is mainly by uh, deposits uh, by where that is demand deposit time deposits and other deposits with the rbi so from the balance sheet what we can see that in the fed assets that means government securities and discount loans government securities and discount loans you can see that uh, both earn uh, interest income right when uh, from the government securities which is being held by the central bank you know that periodically they will be getting interest income on that then second one is when they lend to the commercial bank the banking system uh, they are also getting interest income uh, first liabilities are mainly currency in circulation that is the uh, currency the printing of currency and the reserves uh, that is also liability that is money held by uh, banking system with the central bank as required reserve and excess reserve so you can see that practically uh, it cost nothing though there are some minting cost that means uh, currency minting cost printing cost is there that a currency minting uh, it involves some cost is distributed involves some nominal cost and maintaining reserve uh, that also involves some nominal cost but in overall as compared to the income that they are earning that is through these assets it's actually cost nothing
thing we can say that is cost very very uh, meager among so in that way central banks can earn huge profit central bank can uh, earns huge profit uh, from uh, their operations so let us now proceed by using uh, since you are now familiar with the what are the key components uh, of uh, a central bank's uh, asset side and the liability side uh, let us now see when central bank using open market operations that is buying and selling sec government securities how does it affect the balance sheet of the bank and commercial bank and then what are the likely what are the impact on the monetary base and the money supply of open market operation so in the in this session we will mainly focus on the monetary base only uh, to see how does uh, open market of operation change the monetary base so let us start for example uh, suppose that fed purchases 100 dollar of bonds uh, that is government securities from a bank and pays for them with a 100 dollar check so result what are the resulting changes in the t account so we can see that in the banking system we can see that their securities the amount of deposit securities has declined by 100 dollar then you know that when this one is transferred to the fed they will be credited central bank the fed will be crediting uh, in the accounts of the banking system with uh, 100 dollar uh, maybe through check it doesn't matter through check suppose if they credit it and what we can see that the banking system immediately there is an increase in the reserve of the banking system by 100 dollar how about the federal reserve system and you can see that federal reserve system assets has increased by 100 dollar when they are getting this asset they have to credit 100 dollar in the account of the banking bank the bank who sold this uh, security to the fed that means they have to credit it that the liability of the federal resource system is increased by 100 dollar so let us see the net result here is that the reserves have increased by 100 dollar that means through an open market operation that is open market purchase from a bank the net result that in the banking systems the reserve how reserves have increased by uh, 100 dollar and about the currency in circulation we can see that there is no change in currency in circulation uh, immediately after that so what is monetary base uh, monetary base we already seen that monetary base means uh, c plus uh, uh, reserve uh, c plus a uh, reserve with the banking system so in the monetary base we see that there is no change in currency in circulation but the reserve this has increased so you can see that as a result of this open market purchase uh, the monetary base has increased by reason by uh, 100 dollar right that is the uh, first uh, impact that uh, the impact of open market purchase uh, in the uh, in the banking system the reserve of the banking system has risen by 100 dollar let us see that uh, two cases uh, we can uh, let us discuss two cases of open market purchase one open market purchase from non bank public uh, non bank public that is the general public assume that a person or a corporation sells 100 dollar of bonds to the fed and deposit the check in a local bank so how does it affect the non bank public uh, balance sheet suppose the corporations you can see that uh, their securities have declined by 100 dollar and checkable deposits uh, it will be increased by 100 dollar that means when the fed issue a check and this check has been deposited in a bank then you know that uh, bank will be crediting uh, this check the amount of this uh, that 100 dollar immediately in the uh, account of the uh, depositor that means in the form of a checkable deposit that means uh, non bank public uh, checkable deposit has increased by uh, $100 then about the banking system and you can see that immediately when the general public or the suppose the corporation deposit this money in the banking system uh, that, that the check this check will be presented to the federal resource system central bank so central bank will be crediting this 100 dollar in the account of this uh, banking system uh, then you can see that we immediately this crediting means nothing but increase in the reserve that the reserve of the banking system increases by 100 dollar 
at the same time liabilities you know that uh, this amount uh, this bank bank already credited in the account of the as checkable deposit in the account of the depositor so that is uh, checkable deposit also increases so in the banking system uh, assets increase by 100 dollar and liability increase by uh, 100 dollar what about the federal reserve system so you can see that uh, federal reserve system security increase that assets increase by uh, 100 dollar and the liability also increase by uh, 100 dollar so what is the net uh, outcome well, you can see that the net result here is that uh, reserves have increased by uh, 100 dollar and but no changes in currency here and again what we have seen in the previous uh, discussion uh, similar to that previous slide similar to that the monetary base has increased by uh, 100 dollar so later on you are going to see we are going to discuss the monetary base is going to play a crucial role uh, in increase in determining the money supply right so because uh, monetary base is the main tool or route through which a central bank can influence the money supply in an economy so in this uh, open market purchase from non bank public what we have seen that uh, there is again through this process the process that we discuss here uh, monetary base has increased but there is no change uh, in the cur in currency let us see another case case 2 again open market purchase from non general public but here the person selling the bonds or the corporation selling the bonds cashes the fed check either at a local bank or at the fed for currency immediately they are not keeping it this uh, proceeds from the selling of this bond in the form of deposit instead they just cash it out and you can just see that non bank public the securities have declined by 100 dollar and currency has increased by uh, 100 dollar and what about the federal reserve system we can see that securities have increased uh, that means asset has increased at the same time liabilities also increase Say, uh, assets and liabilities uh, both have increased by 100 dollar here uh, we are we can see that now reserve there is no net effect is that there is no change in the reserve because reserve is we are uh, because it is not going through the banking system they are not keeping it there at all so we can see that there is no reserves uh, reserves are unchanged because here we say that the seller of this bond uh, immediately cashed it out cashed it right they are not keeping it as a uh, checkable deposit with the banking system so currency in circulation has increased by uh, 100 dollar and the monetary base we as we mentioned here c plus um, r what we have seen here is that the r uh, remaining constant uh, but uh, currency in circulation has increased uh, thereby the monetary base also increased by 100 dollar so from here the summary what we can make here is that in both process in first process the reserve increase uh, if it is done by deposited in a bank reserve increase uh, if it is uh, instead of depositing in a bank if they the seller of the bond immediately cash it out uh, make it as a convert into cash uh, then the currency in circulation increase so what we are going to say that uh, in both process be it whether the person selling the bond deposit the check in a bank or person selling the bond uh, to the bank uh, to the fed cash the fed check either at a local bank or fed for a currency in both cases what we are going to see that mv that is c plus uh, r in one process first process we can see uh, r has increased in second case we can see currency has increased uh, in both process either it does not matter actually but because the monetary base increase in the same amount does not matter whether it is uh, they are uh, depositing in a bank or cashing take it the cashes the proceeds so a uh, net outcome is that monetary base uh, increases so this is the summary we can do that the open market purchase the effects of open market purchase on reserves uh, depends on whether the seller of the bonds keep the proceeds from the sale of sale in currency uh, or in deposit if the proceeds from the sale are kept in currency uh, open market operation purchase has no effect on reserve that is one point and if the proceeds are kept as deposits then the reserves increase by the amount of the open market purchase 
So the effect of open market uh, operation purchase on the MB, however, is always the same. That means MB increases by the amount of the purchase, whether the seller of the bonds keep the proceeds in deposits or in currency. So to summarize, the impact of an open market operation purchase uh, on resources is, as much, is much more uncertain than its impact on uh, MB. So now let us see shifts from deposits into currency. Suppose that a person decides to close her account, her or his account by withdrawing his or her 100 balance in cash and was never to deposit it in a bank again. Suppose uh, general, uh, expanding this idea that the banking habit of the people, there is a decline in the banking habit of the people. Then let us see if that happened, that means people withdraw their money from the banking system. Then suppose the bank, the, in this case, you can see that banking system loses uh, $100 of deposits and hence uh, $100 of reserves as well. So the main point here is the key point here is that uh, even uh, if there is a shift from deposits into currency, the monetary base is unaffected by persons uh, disgust at the banking system. So shift from deposit into currency, let us see how does it affect uh, monetary base. Uh, Non-bank public uh, is clear that the checkable deposit decline, that means currency in circulation increases. Right. That, that means uh, in the money supply, we can see that a deposit component declines and C component that the currency component uh, increases. Uh, in the banking system, uh, what you can see that reserves have declined, uh, there is a decline in the reserve uh, as well as there is a decline in the checkable deposits. In the federal reserve system, uh, what we can see here is that currency in circulation because when the checkable deposits are withdrawn, the reserves have declined by $100, but we can see that currency in circulation has increased. So in this case also, again our MB definition is uh, MB definition is C plus R. So we can see that though reserves have declined, but C has increased. So the monetary base remaining unaffected. So the reserve declined by $100, uh, but currency in circulation increased by uh, $100 here. So, in summary, we can say that uh, monetary base is unaffected. This is one aspect that the open market operation, that is one aspect uh, of its liability side. And second one is discounting of loans by the uh, central bank. So, what is meant by uh, discounting of loans? That is, is a uh, borrowing window uh, that means the discounting window that is direct loan to commercial banks without collaterals. So in practice mainly long term it is considered as long term loans to commercial banks by the RBI at a discount rate. So this is actually mainly done as a lender of last resort uh, role. And coming to non-banking financial institution they are not allowed to use this discount window but can participate in the open market operation part, uh, operation with the uh, uh, government securities. So let us now discuss uh, how making a discount loan to a bank uh, affect the monetary base. So here we are going to uh, discuss how uh, making a discount loan uh, may affect the a T account of banking system and federal reserve system and its subsequent uh, impact on the monetary base. So when the Fed makes a $100 discount loan to one commercial bank, let us call it as First National Bank, just to give a commercial bank, the name is uh, First National Bank, let us call it like, like that. And then how the proceeds, uh, how, do, how does it affect the balance sheet? So you know that the bank is credited with uh, $100 of reserves uh, from the proceeds of the loan. So that means putting in, putting in another words, when the federal resource system or the central bank uh, makes a loan to the commercial bank, uh, the proceeds will be immediately credited with the commercial bank uh, in the form of reserve. That means in the banking system, you can see that the reserve will be increased by uh, $100, that the asset of the banking system increased by $100, but the liability 
also increase that means a discount of loan because is borrowing from fed it also increase so about the federal resource system you can see that uh, the monetary liabilities of the federal resource system how uh, increase by 100 dollar in the form of reserves and the asset also increase because it has given a loan of 100 dollar to the banking system so here we can see that the monetary base when a central bank give loan disc give discount loan to commercial bank the immediate impact is that the monetary base uh, increases that means increase by uh, 100 dollar so this is the one effect so that uh, ask uh, similar to uh, open market operation uh, when a bank is giving a loan central bank is giving a loan uh, through the discount window uh, uh, borrowing window then we are we can see that the monetary base is increasing right so that we, anyway we have seen that discussed in the a couple of minutes before uh, that means the main route through which a central bank can influence uh, the money supply in an economy uh, is through the monetary base so this is the second route that means second tool that is discount loan the through which uh, it can impact it can affect the monetary base so what if the commercial bank pay paying off a discount loan from the fed so what if it uh, repay the loan so if the bank pays off the loan from the fed thereby reducing its borrowing from the fed by 100 100 so the net effect is that the monetary base there is a reduction right so the monetary base there is a reduction that is the uh, resource declines and the asset also declines so immediately the reserve that is the monetary base here uh, it declines about the banking system uh, you can see that the resource uh, how declined uh, and the liabilities also uh, declined so to summarize here these are the two tools now we have discussed the one is open market operations and another one is discount loans then the third part is other factors affecting the monetary base there are mainly two important items that affect monetary base but they are not controlled by the fed so importantly recall that open market operations and discount window that actually central bank or the federal reserve can control but there are two two more other items that is not in the control of the fed one is called float float means when the fed clears checks for banks it often credits the amount of the check to a bank that has deposited it it increases the bank's reserves but only later debits it that means decreases the reserve of the bank on which the check is drawn suppose for example uh, you have an account with the state bank of india and you draw, write a check to another person who is having an account with another bank for example you are having an account in the sbi and you write a check and you you hand it over to a person uh, or a company who is having account in another bank called hdfc then the proceed how this will this transaction will happen who is the person who is getting this check uh, will be immediately depositing this one with the RBI person who is getting this check he will be depositing it with the HDFC and HDFC will be submitting it into the RBI right so the moment the person who get this check and deposit with the HDFC bank immediately this money will be this, this much money will be credited into the uh, account of this person who is depositing this money that means uh, for example this one is 100 dollar uh, this one will be immediately credited to the account holder of hdfc and immediately you can see that it won't be debited in the sba account that means sbi the same amount of money will be there so it will take some time maybe a couple of minutes when they deposit it with the rbi and rbi it will be deducting from uh, sbi it may take uh, some uh, couple of minutes or maybe hours uh, so that means until then uh, this money it is uh, credited into the account of uh, who deposited this money check with the HDFC and it also you can see that this is yet to be deducted that $100 is yet to be deducted from uh, the account of SBA. So this amount this is called float that means resulting temporary net increase in the total amount of reserves in the banking system. So that means when HDRBI uh, immediately 
crediting this money here as reserve you can see that reserve is already there but it is not deducted from SBI uh, you can see that uh, there is a temporary net increase in the total amount of reserve in the banking system so occurring from the Fed's uh, check clearing process this is called floating so it causes a rise in the reserves in the banking system and thus the monetary base also rise and second one is treasury deposits at the federal reserve uh, when the treasury moves deposit from commercial banks to its account at the Fed lending to a rise in the treasury deposit at the Fed it also causes a deposit outflow at these banks so when there is a deposit outflow because when the government uh, deposit their money at the uh, uh, federal reserve when they move uh, their money their deposit from the commercial bank to the uh, federal reserve system so it causes a fall in the reserves in the banking system and thus the monetary phase of the base also uh, fall so uh, importantly we saw two things one is float uh, and another one is uh, 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 treasury deposit movement in treasury deposits so both actually you can say that there is an impact in monetary base but this change in monetary base is not at the hands of the federal uh, resource system not with the uh, central bank so what we have covered here is uh, mainly how uh, the fed uh, can uh, fed uh, how through his um, operation that the open market operation and discount window we saw so that it can influence the uh, monetary base but there are other factors uh, which, is, which also affects monetary base and which is no, but not in the control um, of the uh, federal reserve system uh, thank you for watching this video and see you uh, in the next session thank you